Hello everyone and welcome to another battle report for my channel. Um, this is the final games of Adepticon 2016, so it's a little bit of a different than my normal battle report. I will be covering games 4, 5, and 6 in a much more abbreviated uh, format, uh, mostly uh, due to... Um, well, the tournament was, was very short-timed and had time clocks and it was a big game, so anyway, there wasn't time to take proper pictures, but uh, I think I got some okay coverage and some interesting things to show and talk about. So, uh, as we'll recap, but we're going my list. Uh, I brought dwarves to the tournament. The tournament was a 2,500-point tournament. So, we'll go down the list. Uh, Berserkers in a regiment with a brew of strength. Uh, two troops of ironclad. Two troops of rangers. Uh, two regiments of iron guard. Um, both of them have the two-handed weapon upgrade and the throwing dogs option. Two hordes of earth elementals. One with blessing of the gods and one with chant of hate. Two Iron Bells or Orcan Guns, two Greater Earth Elementals, one Army Standard Bear, a Berserker Lord mounted on the Brock with a Blade of Beast Slayer, a Ranger Captain with Wings of Honey Maze, and two Stone Priests, both with the Bane Chant upgrade. Uh, here's a spoiler, but um, the games we're covering are highlighted here. Uh, so Game 4 versus Game 5 versus Basilia, and Game 6 versus Abyssal Dwarf. So we'll do Pillage, Invade, and Kill and Pillage. Um, you can see this will also be quite... Um, Polar is in the, the first game I did I did really well and then did really bad and really dead bad anyway so game four um, game four was a really interesting game and and this list will show you why um, the the quick story about it is um, I actually sat down we sat down to play our third game um, and as we were deploying that that person the TO or whoever you want to call it was running the game set a whole or running the tournament set hold on guys I think some of these pairings were wrong we have to redo them so. I actually sat down to play this elf army turn or, you know, round three and then got paired up against the, the Varangard unit you saw before this. Um, which I don't, I think actually was either one was a fine scenario because it would have been dominate versus um, this is a pillage. So um, as you can see, this, this elf army is interesting why I'm talking about it. It is entirely shooting. Everything shoots. So two regiments of glade stalkers. Four regiments of Sea Guard, two hordes of Sea Guard, and seven bolt throwers. I mean, that's that's it. There's no items. There's no characters. Nothing. So, um, so some people were a little worried about this list. Um, I I mean, people had seen it and thought, oh wow, that, that's interesting. It's like hundred something seventy shots. Or I don't know. someone told someone someone said counted it up. So it's, it's a ridiculous amount of shots. So. Uh, so you can see my deployment here and his deployment, and there'll be a better picture of it too. But um, I'm kind of hiding some stuff behind this hill. Um, the hills are all height one in this tournament, so he's height one, I'm height one. You're not going to see anything. Um, one of the other things I did too, you can see here, is I put my greater earth elemental behind my elementals. Um, a lot of his bolt throwers were behind stuff, and I didn't want him to get um, no cover shots at anything. So I put my greater earth elemental behind something that would give them cover so he wouldn't so he'd still have to take covered shots at something it was just a thing so uh and here's the other side um I, i'm playing pretty pretty clumped um and you can see in this, this last picture here so there's the pillage but we only roll at five tokens so you can see where the five tokens are um they're pretty much in the middle and my plan at this point is essentially to get three of them the three on the right side of the board um, I, I, th he doesn't have, um, piercing in the most of his shooting. So my defense five, defense six guys are going to be okay. Um, essentially that's it. Um, my ranger, so this is after Vanguard too. So my ranger captain's on the hill and my rangers are on the hill. Um, I really put those rangers on the hill just as bait for him to shoot at. I didn't expect him to shoot the ranger captain because I mean, he's defense five and minus one to hit. He's not a a great target and, and like most people um they don't think about the fact that he's charging 20 inches turn one so the elves the elves did get turn one um but he didn't shoot my ranger captain so um this is after my turn one i think it's something like that i had pictures are going to be a little spotty but um essentially it became a really big slugfest where i just I pushed forward. I hid my dwarves behind the fences for some cover there in the middle. Um, I surged up those golems on the right into charge range just to make him have to do something about it. Because those golems had a lot of damage on them already. 
And he didn't need to do much to take them off the board, but I wanted to make sure that they were a threat. So they got shoved way up. Um, on the left side, his his first round, um, his bolt throwers took out, well, pretty much just took out my other uh, elemental horde. Um, but you can see up there, um, my ranger captain has taken out two bolt throwers at this point, um, and my berserker lord has taken out one. So they're just chugging through bolt throwers. Um, without much without much to stop me um, which is working out really well and um, yeah the other thing too I'm doing down here is I'm moving up my organ guns and I'm hiding my ring era uh, my berserkers behind the hill my berserkers are defense three so if they step out they're dead um, so I'm just saving them for the last turn because I do get last turn um, and I'm hoping that I can use those berserkers to grab that token um, just another uh, so um, he eventually does clean up my uh, other earth elementals and that that greater earth elemental on the left isn't dead he's just on the fence um actually ends up pretty well um i have a both of my greater earth elementals at this point are basically full health or nearly full health so i can take a lot of rounds of shooting still um i got a lot of dwarves in the middle still holding that token um and so he ends up you know really trying to charge and, and beat up on my other earth elemental but he's got he's got no piercing it's just it's just really hard for him to get any damage through. Um, I think one turn he throws something like like fifty dice shooting at him, and I think he does like two damage. Like it's it's not great odds, but it should have been better than that. Um, another picture of that. So yeah, again, I think he's down to like one bolt thrower at this point, or maybe two. Um, they're just going through him, and those those sea guard in the woods are trying to uh, beat up on my um on my um uh berserker lord but he doesn't care they they're they're um they're minus one because it's you know running around in the woods and they're not going to do that much damage to him so he's pretty much just ignoring him and beating up stuff um so a little later in the game um we do get a little more stuck in um yeah so we get some, he gets some charges off on me. He actually gets some flanks off in the end. Um, and he does take out some of my dwarf units. Um, you'll be able to see that that coming up. But but for the most part, it's just a... It gets to be a bit of a, a grind. Um, my elementals are not very good. Or, or greater earth elementals are not very good at taking out a horde of anything. Um, this crushing strength is pretty wasted on these elves. And he just doesn't put out that many attacks. So it's just a... A slap fest for all, 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 all extensive purposes. Um, but I'm still getting everything I need. So I, I have, and that token down there is contested. You can see the other token I have by the fence. I have, um, and here's the other side you can see, I have that token over by me. And so I think this is probably like, well, probably turn four. So, yeah, about the same thing. Big squabbling mess in the middle. But... The, the point, or the thing I like about this the most is you can see a lot of my units made it. Um, I didn't expect to get shot off the board, but I didn't, so that was good. Um, and so I actually just have, so you can see in a couple things here, I'll bring up the point because I won't be there in a minute, but um, my Berserker Lord's just kind of mucking with those guys in the wood. Um, a Ranger Captain's beating up the bolt throwers. Um, everyone else is just kind of holding out. Um, there's, so this is this is basically the end of the game. It is the end of the game. Um, the only thing I put in there is those Iron Guard should be up on that token. They actually ended there. I was just moving stuff before I took the last picture because the game was over. But they did they did what they needed to do. They stood they stood on that token and they held it. And you can see also there is my Stone Priest um, chaffing up all his guys so they couldn't get at my Iron Guard sitting on the sitting on the token. So. Um, the other thing that happened too is my berserkers and my berserker lord uh, beat up the regiment of glade stalkers that was up there uh, to capture the token. So he wasn't able to do anything um, to stop them. This is another picture. So you can see those berserkers are on the token. He wasn't able to shoot them off and he wasn't able to stop me from killing his guy. So um, yeah. And again, I'm showing my actual position of the iron guard where they ended up. So I actually, I actually claim three. Uh, the thing, though, that happened is it was coming, um, it was his turn seven. I hadn't played my turn seven yet. 
and he was starting to run low on time um but he wasn't out of time what 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 it was was he was uh he knew he couldn't win he knew he was going to lose um because he didn't he didn't get some stuff he needed he i had 3 when, unless i lost the game purposefully he was going to win or i was going to win because i had i had 3 tokens and he had none or i was claiming 3 objectives he was claiming 2 so what he did was he purposely let the time run out um you know, a lot of reasons probably why he did or didn't do this. He said he was to the point where he wasn't going to win. Um, at this point in time, um, one of us needed a 20-0 to actually, like, maybe have a chance to place in the tournament since we were a little further down the rung at this point. And, I don't know, he just didn't seem to – he wasn't that concerned about it. Um, he just kind of wanted to try his list, so that's that's fine. Okay. He, he just let the time run out, so I did, told him he didn't have to do it, but anyway. Um, it was a very, I was actually happy to play this army. Um, I was really happy I didn't have to play this army and kill, um, because I would have lost. I would, I would not have, uh, been able to pick up enough units once I got across the board to win. I would have lost, I guaranteed. Um, but, it, but in any of the other scenarios, I have a pretty good, ad pretty good advantage because I can, I can push across the board and make it like if that's, if that's the point. Um, yeah, and, and my ranger captain was, was super beneficial. I mean, most of those bolt throwers did jack squat the whole game because they were dead or just didn't have that great of targets. So, yeah, um, it was a good victory for me. Like, I, I did exactly what I needed to do. Um, well, luck wasn't really on anyone's side. So, I mean, it was, it was fun from that perspective. So, uh, with the 20 and 0, we go into game five. Um, game five is against... <laughs> more of the army I kind of I kind of an army I expected to see um this is a pretty much a, a flying circus not entirely but pretty close um so this is invade um my opponent uh, is actually the uh winner from last year's kings of war adepticon um so she has a all right, paladin foot guard regiment penitent horde and a penitent mob troop two hordes of Eloi, one with a blessing of the gods uh, a horde of paladin knights uh, with the potion of the caterpillar, uh, abyss, abyss mounted, a high paladin on a dragon with the ensorcelled armor, a high paladin on a griffin with a blade of beast slayer, a priest with bane chant mounted, and two phoenix or phenai, phoenixes. I'm not sure what the plural on that would be. Um, but we'll go into some. This is, yeah, is kind of after turn one. Um, but. So, uh, Wu on the left, um, Eloha, I think those are the elite ones. Um, she's got her dragon and her griffin hiding behind the dragon. Um, I've put my rangers out on the left in the woods. Um, honestly, wasn't really that good of a choice. Um, I was kind of just trying to bait some drops, um, cause I had more drops. Actually, I had more drops than like most people I played, but I had more drops and, and we were invading. So I was like, well, I need to clump up on one side and push and let's maybe not you know let's maybe sack the rangers or just somebody else over here so i put them over here and kind of do some drops but not terribly useful um organ guns went in the middle this was this was probably a mistake by them um but it was where i put them uh, you can see my beast lords there um the rest of my army kind of laid out like this so elementals dwarves elementals with some dwarves um <clears throat> my plan um, since those knights are faster than everything I have, except for my ranger captain, and have um, Pathfinder, they're sitting in the woods right now, um, my intention is to move up and use my, um, use my ranger captain to um, essentially sacrifice him to either run up and take away their thunderous charge and then just get charged by them, and then my dwarves can then charge the knights. So... Nothing too important should be taking the thunderous charge too. That that's my intention. Um, you can see there's a lot of phoenixes and Elohi and other stuff in there. So just trying to play a little KG, um, keep everything close, and try not to give out too many flanks. So uh, I think this might have been turn two. Um, all of the flyers went in to kill my rangers, which I was actually okay with. Uh, I figured that what would happen. I thought, hey, I'll sit in the woods. At least you have to take a minus one. Okie dokie. Um, 
And I have my um, Berserker on a Brock over there to go punch somebody up, given the opportunity. And those those things are big, so he likes to hit them. Uh, over here, and my opponent actually moved back. Um, so I had been putting my organ guns up. And so she just moved stuff back so she doesn't get organ gunned off the board, which makes sense. Um, yep, more of that. So my turn. Uh, th yeah, this will be my next turn. Um, so one thing I can do, so you can see my ranger captain flew up and crashed into the knights. Um, he, he actually uh, spectacularly failed to do any damage to the knights, but he's standing right in front of them, so that's fine. He's going to die. But he did his job, um, so there's no way those knights, unless they just literally back up, they're not getting out of range of my Berserkers and my Greater Earth Elemental. So, well, that's okay. Um, everybody else just pushes. Um, we got to get going somewhere, um, especially before those flyers come around and start smacking me in the back. Um, over here you can see I turned one of my... Um, Organ guns, because what had actually happened at all... Oh, yeah, I'll show you in the next one. So, both both of these flyers went into my rangers, and they both whiffed um, fairly bad, uh, surprisingly, since they like all hit on threes. Well, they're hitting on fours because they're in the woods, but and they were just wavering both of my units of rangers, um, which, you know, was was a pretty, pretty good start. Like, I was like, whoa, sweet. You know, that, I mean, that's a big deal. Um, to keep him stuck there for an extra turn. So, yeah. So I turned one of my organ guns to face him. And I, and I should have turned my second organ gun to face him too. But I didn't. Um, I, I moved the other organ gun up further. Because I was kind of shooting at those um, penitent mobs. But I, I, I came to uh, realize how, how much healing those phoenix can do. That I should have really been focusing stuff more. Um... So anyway, yeah, my Berserker Lord goes into the into the ensorcelled armor jerk down there, um, which is fine. He's not going to do that great of damage, but anyway. So my opponent's turn. Um, she goes back in to kill those kill those rangers. Um, the uh, king or knight paladin on the dragon goes into the Berserker Lord, which is fine. Uh, over here, she just kind of shuffles a little bit, um, moves a little high over a little bit, um, charges the knights into my ranger captain, which is going to happen. Um, nothing really committing. And over here, yeah, they clean up the rangers finally, um, in turn. And I'm like, well, that's okay, because people did what they're supposed to do. So I actually really like what the rangers did. I mean, they, it was, it was helpful, but anyway. So, yeah, um... Another picture of that. Um, they, they, those knights do clean up my ranger captain, of course. Um, yeah, that's about it for combat. So, like I said, next turn. Um, I get a double charge if on those knights. Um, my berserkers and my greater earth elemental. Um, the only thing I started realizing at this point is I should have had my regular earth elementals up. And I should have been double charging with them in, in the berserkers. Just because the greater earth elemental, okay... He's got some good crushing strength, but he's only got eight attacks. So it's just not its not that many. And the Berserkers had to run into the woods for this. So, yeah, not so great. Not so great. Um, otherwise, I'm just, I just moved up um, just enough to say, hey, look, we're going to do this. Let's do this. Um, over here, I actually take my Berserker Lord and, and charge him into the Phoenix. Um, the Phoenix is a, is a way lower nerve. And if I can stop that Phoenix from healing for a turn or two, that would also be very helpful. Um, my organ gun doesn't do very much against the, um, paladin on the dragon defense six, you know, it's not that great. Um, but the one thing that does happen is my berserker Lord does waver the Phoenix. That's just pretty exciting. So, um... Yeah, I think this is about her next turn. Um, the flying, the flying cat, the flying circus is is unleashed. Essentially, they were done with my rangers. Um, so the paladin on the dragon goes into the flank of my earth elemental. The penitent horde comes up there and smacks them up. Like it's just a the the basilians come. 
It was their time. Um, the only thing I'd done a really, one of the things I'd actually done a pretty good job for is I didn't give those Elohi up top there anything useful to charge yet. Um, there wasn't anywhere they would fit. So, so they've eventually just been dancing for three or four turns at this point. But since it's invade, it's not that important. Uh, over here, yeah, you can see those, those um, Elohi are smacking into my organ gun. That's fine. Um, and the chicken, the the wounded phoenix backs up, and yeah, four plus region on phoenix is rough. I'll tell you what, that was that was hard to get through. Do do do. So, um, this is this is me kind of charging back. Um, she killed my greater earth elemental on the left. Um, they killed my berserkers with the knights. Um, uh, picked up. Oh, I'll show you that in a second. Um, so yeah, just some counter charges all over the place. Um, not a lot of super good stuff to do, but going in, um, it's another one of those cases too where my iron guard are kind of, kind of bunched up behind those guys, those those ironclad because they don't generally die like I was kind of thinking they would. I would think they would just like die like two thirds of the way across the board or something, but they they tend to just make it. I'm like, hmm, that's that's not quite so helpful. So I turn my Iron Guard around, I turn my Earth Elementals around thinking, hey, if he lands any of that stuff anywhere, at least I can get back at him. Um, over here, if you watched my uh, tournament overview video, um, this was the role, uh, one of the roles I was like really telling my opponent not to do was the Aloha versus that Oregon Gun. It was, it was like 54 attacks. I was like, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Just don't roll double ones. Um, but I comically did have, did have my opponent roll the, uh, Griffin Rider against my organ gun and that, that one failed. <laughs> it did damage, so it's not shooting, but it didn't kill it or waver it, which I thought was pretty funny. Boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah, this might even, yeah. So yeah, my, my Berserker Lord does smack up that Griffin or Pegasus some, no, Phoenix some more, but I, I just can't get past that regen. Um. The bird's regening probably as much as I'm damaging. So carrying on, um, getting flown in and surrounded. Um, the abbess, abbess comes over and gets between me and the the phoenix. Just fine, okay. Um, those knights up there just won't die either. <laughs> they um, I keep the phoenix is healing them, and I'm just not rolling very well. Um, over here, you can see the the paladin uh, on dragon came into my um, iron guard. Um, yeah, the paladin on griffin is flanking my flanking my earth elementals, and the aloha just kind of popped over because I've not really given them anything to do. Uh, just careful about that. So, a um, couple turns later, sorry about all of this. Um, she picks up all my. She picks up those other Earth Elementals. Um, she picks up. I don't think she does ever pick up the Iron Guard, but this is this is turn, her turn six. So she's just flying everything into scoring, um, before my turn six. Well, no, this was after my turn six too. Yeah. So, what's actually in scoring at this point? Um, is my, you might see my Berserker Lord there for me on the left. Um, both of my troops of Ironclad. One of my regiments of Iron Guard. Um, I think both of my... Um, what are those called? Stone Priests are in. Uh, Greater Earth Elemental and Earth Elemental Horde made it in. Um, at this point in time for her, it's everything flying. You can see. Yeah. Both Phoenixes. Both Elohi. The whole, the whole shebang. Except for the, yeah, except for some of the foot stuff. So, um, we do have a turn seven. I don't think I take pictures of it, but essentially all that happens in turn seven is she moves her, um, penitent mob in. And I fail to get those last, um, paladin knights out of the way. Um, foot paladins or whatever they are out of the way. So I don't, I don't get any extra points. So, Yeah. Not great. So it ended up being like I said, it ended up being a thirteen seven loss. Um 
I lost the scenario and I lost the attrition battle. Um, it was a, for me, it was a really tough matchup. Um, I wouldn't have minded. I'm not sure what a great scenario would be for me versus so much flying and healing like this. Um, I don't, I don't know. Honestly. Yeah. Anyway, a lot of my stuff made it across the board and I was more or less happy with that. Um, yeah, I just didn't have the, I didn't quite have the tools to deal with all this flying. So, and the thought of something I should have done different was probably been um, a little more, a little more defense in depth, and actually use my organ guns to to block off my rear, um, like to just push like as hard as I could against one side of the table, and just shove everything up and try just to just to watch my rear and push for a draw. Um, there, in this in this scenario with this army, there's no reason my opponent would ever have to take anything but a draw. Like. She could just not engage me. There's no need for her to engage me. To actually let me let me kill stuff for a win. So, yeah, it was okay. Uh, game six. Um, game six was interesting. I, I rolled up against Abyssal Dwarves. We're all pretty far down the board at this point. Um, this person had a somewhat interesting army. Um, three hordes of Lesser Obsidian Golems. Uh, one with Caterpillar, one with Sharpness, and one with Nimble. Two hordes of spitters, uh, like one with heart seeking, and I, I don't think this is right. One with one with keenness, and I think one with jar of the four winds or something. Hey, I'm not going back to fix this. It was something like that, but it's really inconsequential, and you'll see why. Uh, one of the rocket launchers, uh, three troops of gargoyles, one with the holy hand grenade, uh, troop, or a regiment of abyssal half breeds with the helm of confidence. Uh, two iron casters. Um, one of them has the inspiring amulet, and one of them has the surge ring. An Overmaster on Greater Abyssal with Boots of the Seven Leagues, which was actually an illegal magic item, so it was just points lost. Um, and an Iron Caster on Great Winged Halfbreed with the Boots of Levitation. Um, so we'll get out to uh, deployment here. Uh, a lot of Gargoyles on the left. Uh, one of the Spitter Hordes is also over there, and this is after um, Vanguard and my opponent starting the first turn. Uh, oh, yeah, so for me, Elemental's way on the left. Um, I put my... This is Kill and Pillage. Um, so I put my organ guns in the woods on top of one of the tokens. Uh, in the middle, Elemental's, Dwarves. Um, my my intention with this was, I saw how we kind of put those out, so I was going to try to use the house to anchor and um, try to push in and flank his golems as best I could. Um since he's going to come at me and we're a little offset, my hope is I can take advantage of that offset and get some flanks. Since nothing really on the left is just gargoyles. Isn't that concerning to my, my normal guys? Uh, and way on the right, um, I had somewhat learned my lesson at this point, trying to at least learn my lesson about those berserkers just exploding. Um, so we put everybody else over here. Um, th this is way weak. Um, there's no There's no way I can take what's over there with what's here. Um, it was just kind of a, a chance to just distract and, and hold them off. There's no tokens. Well, there's one token like way back in the woods over there, but I'm not picking that up. So, um, my opponent's turn one and my turn one, um, the gargoyles fly up and around. Um, you see my ranger captain there flew up into that horde of spitters, um, to keep them from doing anything, which actually turns out to be great. Um, he never dies and they never shoot again. So, Pretty, pretty good value. Um, my organ guns um, do try to... Sh they think they shoot off one troop of gargoyles, but my organ guns end up doing really bad at shooting off troops of gargoyles this game. And, and with their regen, it's, it, was, it was pitiful. Anyway. So, uh, in the middle, my opponent surges up one of his units a lot. Um, this starts to get me pretty excited, because if he's going to start shoving them up piecemeal, I'll... I'd love to take them on piecemeal. Um, I can. I have two surgers too, and if you're going to shove stuff up one at a time, I'm going to go into your flanks. Um, way over here, um, I sent my Berserker Lord away, thinking, I don't need him there right now. Let's go hide. Um, mostly because he was getting breathed and shot at a lot. Um, so I went and hit him from that. Um, so my opponent moves up. Um, 
down here you can see he sends I don't I don't remember which one of these things is which um, which one's the iron caster or the other thing They're, they both do like the same thing so anyway giant flying monster things that I can't deal with very well uh, one of them goes into my rangers and beats them up but doesn't actually I, th I, I think yeah I think it was something like you're just like three two or three damage but just this was, this was a game too where, where my opponent made every nerve check they needed and I made none of them so I think he picks up the rangers and the other thing is those abyssal half breeds go into my berserkers and it was I think he did he did 11 points of damage so we needed to roll an 11 to kill him and of course he got it um yep so over here just more surging charging moving um he plays a pretty pretty um conservative with those gargoyles which kind of surprised me I, I thought for sure he'd just be flying them over and, and beating up my guys and my organ guns but he just kind of holds back with them so okay yep so just pulls them back a little bit they are throwing hand grenades but it's just not terribly effective Uh, in the middle, yeah, my opponent has tons of surging, and so he gets another another true another um, horde or another yeah, another horde into my troop, which I'm just like, perfect, go for it. I have lots of surging too, and you have a nice big flank open. So yep, uh, more of that, more of that. Um, well, maybe those rangers don't die. I don't remember, but those berserkers certainly die. Um, sorry for the bad picture there. And I think he cleans up most of my one of the iron. No, I think he cleans up both the ironclad units. Yeah. Oh, and I think yes. And so this is also after my turn. Um, I had cleaned up one of those hordes at this point as well. Um, I think we got like a triple charge in on it or something. It it was a lot. We did it. We did a. We got one of those hordes cleaned up. Uh, moving up, my opponent starts to roll up my flank pretty bad with all of this um, flying and whatnot. Um, the one thing that did happen here is um, at one point in time I did get a double charge on this big fly beast at the bottom. Uh, once I got my um, greater earth elemental on the flank and my um, berserker lord into him, but I whiffed incredibly badly like like my berserker lord hits on a three plus, and I think I I hit twice and wounded once. Like it was just it was really sad. Um, so that was a bummer. Could have got him too, but anyway. So he starts just to come back, and he's getting all sorts of behind me and, and everything now. My organ guns, um, cleaning up my dwarves. Um, more of that, and and here you can see this is a this was a case too. Those those left horde of earth elementals or, or his golems there have a ton of damage on them, but it was a it was a, a double one scenario. So um, they ended up holding out forever, which was a bummer because I got the other one, and that that would have maybe been enough to at least try to get a draw out of this, but nope. So they hang out, um, smack up some things um, down there. I tried to chaff up his uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, those those um, half breeds um, with my flagger, but he cr he clobbers him and then gets into the rear of my earth elemental. Um, this isn't quite the last picture, but I was so tired of playing Kings of War at this point um, that I stopped taking pictures. So um, anyway, it was a bad loss. Uh, Thirteen seventeen loss. Um, I failed the scenario, well, the scenario and, and attrition, more or less. He killed a lot more stuff than I did. Um, those big flyers hold a lot of points um, and help him walk away with that. So, yeah, I complain about dice. This was a this was a pretty pretty abysmal dice rolling. Um, but they did have a really good opponent. Like he was having a lot of fun, so that was a nice nice change. Like he was he was really happy to p play someone who wasn't taking it quite so seriously. Like. I eventually, we weren't using a chess clock at first, and I eventually turned one on because I, I realized he was playing a little slow, and I didn't want to, you know, say anything about it, so I guess I just turned on a, a chess clock eventually, but it was like, it wasn't necessary. We still got done with plenty of time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was it was a fun enough game. It was just a bit of a heartbreaking end to the, the, whole, the whole tournament. 
Um, so now that we've talked about six games, I'll just talk about some changes I probably would make with this list, implying I had to play 2,500 point games again. Um, the first, the first change is just that's just so obvious to me is replace the Berserkers with the Brock Riders. Um, the the Brock Riders are just a better choice point by point, without question. Um, the the Brock Rider Regiment is just it's 30 points more and it gives you so much more, so much more maneuverability, speed, damage output, defense. You get a whole extra defense. It's just a yeah, it's just a silly upgrade. Uh, the other thing I'd probably do is I'd probably put those ranger troops into a regiment and maybe consider putting the self-inspiring amulet on them or self-inspiring item. Um, I like having the rangers and troops. I, they're they're helpful. They put out, you know, some little piddly shots, but they, they do it well. They hide in woods well. You know, they're, they're okay. It's just they kind of fall over a little easy, and that's why I think maybe I'd put them in a regiment instead. Um... One of the things I found too, and I was worried about this going in, and it wasn't as bad as I thought, but I only actually have one guy in my army with regular inspiring. Um, only the army standard bearer is actually capable of inspiring everybody. Um, the stone priest can't, the ranger captain can't, and the berserker lord can't. Um, that almost seems like something odd and dwarves that, I guess some of those other armies have it too, but that there's so much specific inspiring where rangers inspire rangers berserkers inspire berserkers stone priests only inspire elementals it's just like geez, can't somebody so anyway what i would definitely do is probably put an inspiring talisman on one of those stone priests so that when um i run into a, a an army with a couple of hordes of uh, ogre boomers who just decide to wipe my uh you know one of my inspiring off the board maybe i'd have another one left you know that that's my thought on i i should have done it but i really wanted to use my throwing dogs and that's in the next point um i dropped the throwing dogs for sure um i never really had a good target for them um they never really accomplished much it's not like i expected them to they're kind of cheap 20 points for something for two throws it's fluffy it's fluffy it's silly it's something you can have a good time with but just if I was going for making a more useful list, uh, honestly, if they were like five points, I'd take them. But not ten points, just not. Yeah. No. Um. And in the end, the last thing I'd probably do is add some flying allies. Um. It just is. It's. It's so hard to deal with that stuff. Um. I don't have enough artillery like in this list like I wouldn't I wouldn't have enough bombards or cannons that could spend all all game shooting at flying things I, I really would just need a horde of Drakken Riders or a horde of Elohi or just something um, that can pick that pick fill that role that I don't have um, yeah that's that's probably the last change I would make I mean, over, overall, I was happy enough with it. I think I did a fairly good job of making an aggressive dwarfs list. Um, it was certainly fun enough and easy to play with. It was just, you know, push. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed these. Um, hopefully, I'll get some battle reports out in the future again. Um, I definitely probably won't be playing dwarves for a while if I can help it. I'm a little, little dwarfed out. But um, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.